Thank you. Hi guys, congratulations on the win. Yay, so excited. <laughs> um, okay, before we get into the final, Sarah, we saw a confessional from you saying that Alyssa and Angela's elimination was one of the shortest you'd ever seen. So fans are really wondering just how short was it? Uh, yeah, so I would say the first round uh, that was shown was like probably in real time. Um, and then I don't know if they slow mo the second round or what, but that thing was over very quickly. Because what they didn't show, like um, Alyssa, Angela had like put her knee on Alyssa's ribs and, and Alyssa kind of barked back at her. And uh, oh. so I think at that point she like, you know, it's, it's kind of like you get in a fight and you get punched in the face. You're like, okay, I don't want anymore. Uh, <laughs> Angela didn't want, or Alyssa didn't want anymore. I love it. Um, Danny, what was the process for you like to jump into another show so soon after your Survivor season aired? And do you feel almost redeemed after coming so close to the final three on Survivor? Uh, yeah, it was, you know, it was actually difficult just because I have, you know, a young daughter. Uh, she was six months when I went on Survivor. So having to leave her again and decide to to, to make that move was, was difficult. But, you know, I had the support of my wife and my family. So that made it a little easier. And yes, this is very redeeming. I felt like I was one move, one conversation away from making it to the final three uh, on Survivor. Um, so this did make me feel good about my social game and my ability uh, to play these type of games. Yeah, I love it. Um, Sarah, you're now the first player to ever win Survivor and the challenge. Pretty big accomplishment, kind of iconic. How does it feel? And now that you're CBS royalty, do you have your sights set on competing in any of CBS's other reality shows? <laughs> oh, man. I No, it, it's great. I'm just, I'm truly blessed to even have the opportunities that, I, that I've had. Um, I, I don't deserve them. Um, but for, they, they keep calling me so um yeah if cbs wants to call me uh with the show uh, let's do it but, uh, ring ring <laughs> <laughs> i love it i think you're deserving um danny we saw a confessional from dominic where he claimed you haven't done much throughout the season and we're holding back for the final was underplaying your physical abilities and actual strategy of yours or was he kind of just saying that uh yeah i, I, I think he was just kind of saying that i think uh, if, if you look back at it, uh, I actually placed in the top three like five times. Uh, mm -hmm. Very close, very close to winning a few of those uh, challenges. Uh, I was trying my hardest. I think just when it came down to it, when it's really, really time for you to prove what you can do, that's when I did it. Uh, when I wanted to collect four challenges, it was like I needed my money. It was a woman's elimination, so I could risk it uh, as much as I wanted to. And then the final, you just got to show what you got. And I know what I can do. Uh, so I just needed to make it to the final. I just needed one win. So. That's all I was focused on. Love it. Um, Sarah, when reaching the Sudoku puzzle, was there any indication to you that people dropped, like puzzle pieces on the ground, anything? No, none. Uh, I had no idea. I got there and everyone's gone. So I assumed that everybody, you know, has already moved on. Um, I, and I didn't know that that was going to be the last um, puzzle. Uh, like, I, I didn't know if we still had another one to do or two more. Um, so yeah, I was just, I get done with that and I'm like, just keep plugging away. <laughs> uh, and then I'm like, no way is that the finish? Nobody's there. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so I, uh, I get to the top and I'm like, wait a minute, like, this is a finish line. At least like people, you know, you watch a race and people stand around and like clap for you as you finish. No, nobody was clapping. DJ uh, was <laughs> out for and I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> like, Too cold, Sarah. Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy turn of events. Um, speaking of like kind of the chaos of it all, Angela's disqualification was pretty shocking to viewers, but still a bit unclear to some fans. So were the rules explicitly explained to everyone or do fans have the wrong idea in thinking that Angela was not aware that she would be disqualified? Um, yeah, I, I definitely think they the fans have the wrong idea. Um, mm -hmm. So there there's... A, a sign that tells you what the um, task is at hand and the task mm -hmm. at hand, it says on there that you have to move this dirt to reveal a code at the bottom of this pole and put the dirt back and then undo. If you see on the poles, they have these two black uh, bags hanging. You have to undo a um, the lock to get those and that you needed those bags um, to move on to the next stage. It literally says that in the in the thing. So when Angela goes in the tent and says, um, I quit, uh, 
then, you know, everybody's like, wait, this isn't really fair. Cause Dom and I actually never, ever, um, after I came out of the tent the first time, we never went back in until the end. We stayed outside uh, completing it. So I went back over and read the sign to make sure I'm reading this correctly. Like, and then, uh, you know, like Danny and I have said before, it's like, well, at what point, I'm not gonna wake you up and tell you like, hey, you don't get to move on. Like, that's on you. Um, yeah. So, so yeah, I, I, I think, no, it was clear. It said you had to do this in order to advance. Um, you know, Kayla, she was getting last in the eating, yet she still had to eat it all. She didn't just get to opt out and take last. Enzo and Desi, I'm sure if opting out is an option, then they would have loved to opt out of the swim. So, I mean, mm -hmm. come on. we've all watched yeah. the challenge. There's no opting out. Yeah, it's like, yeah, we, 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 I'm a challenge fan. I watch it. I've been watching it for years and years and timing out is a thing. Uh, really haven't seen opting out. Um, so I don't, I don't think there's anything for the fans to be confused about. I think it was a miscalculation on, on her part. Um, I don't, I don't think she wanted to quit, but that's just not how the game, how the game works. Um, so fans should not be confused. Go watch <laughs> the pieces of the challenge. If you don't time out and you say that you're done, you're done. When she didn't even try, like, that's a thing. Like, mm. I mean, like, just try. Or how about uh, you, why don't you rest when I rest? And then if that's what you need to make it fair. But I mean, there's so many things in the game that aren't fair. Uh, you know, it's like, but she wasn't faced with any adversity all season. She was on the right side of the cards. And you see what happens when she's faced with adversity. Um, we, mm -hmm going into that elimination and then in the deliberation, she's like, ah, there's nothing I could do to change their mind. So she gets up and walks out. Well, I mean, the, it, to me, this is a pattern and it's when the going gets tough, get up and walk out. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry, but that, that that's fine to handle it that way, but know that you won't be successful mm -hmm. and don't wonder why and don't think you're being punished. Um, so well said. <laughs> no more confusion. Um, <laughs> no more confusion. No, definitely no more confusion after this. Um, Austin, you're like, I'm not confused anymore. <laughs> <laughs> not me. Um, thank you so much for speaking with me today. And I'm sending nothing but positive energy both of your ways. And congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, bye.